All right. I'll try to keep the wind at my back so we can hear, at least hear something. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to set this up, ground balance it, do all that stuff, and then I'm going to hopefully keep the wind at my back. I'm going to set the discrimination right here a little bit before nickel. I'm just going to go around and I'm going to dig everything above nickel. I'm not going to thumb the discrimination knob or anything. So everything I dig is going to be a surprise for me and you too, I guess. So anyway, let's turn it on. We'll put it in all metal. as the ground balance goes so we'll, we'll put it up to about right there the sensitivity maybe run it just about 10 the threshold I'm gonna run at about 2 o'clock that way if there is anything deeper it, it kind of has a modulated audio I'm not gonna really super tune it or nothing like that out here none of the stuff or none of the targets are very deep maybe six inches at the most so I don't think I need to do all that but run it at about 2 will if there is anything deeper, it'll give me a little bit of a modulation. So, like I said, everything I dig, I'm not going to thumb the scrim knob or anything. I'm just going to mark it and dig it. I'm sure I'll dig a bunch of pull tabs and other, you know, can slaw and stuff. But, you know, kind of be just, we'll just see what comes up. Here is the first target. Not much to it, just the sound, right? No ID to go by. Let's see what the first one is. Oops, there you go. Alright, we're starting off okay. First one's a zinc penny. At least it's a coin. Here's the next one. Now I'm only going for nice repeatable signals here. I'm not, you know, the broken up stuff, I'm not even going to bother. Not not yet anyway. If I come back here, you know, some other time and I might dig some of those iffies. But for this trip, we're just going to go with nice repeatable signals. Sounds good. All right, target number two. In fact, something on the surface. I just hit it. I hear a jet overhead. I feel it's a coin. Oh, ho, oh, oh, yeah. Here's the next one. Okay, we're two for two, two coins. Now that I said that, it'll be a pull tab. Should have left it at that, right? Be a zinc. It was kind of crusty. Not bad. First three digs. Here's the next one. Nice and repeatable. All right. Here we go. Sounds pretty 
shallow. Thank you, screwdriver. Yeah, right there. I hear it because the screwdriver hit it. Felt it. Oh, it's a coin. Now I believe that is a copper penny. Not bad. Here's the next one. Now I'm not going to edit any of this out. So whether it's aluminum foil or pull tab or whatever. So my first four have been coins. That's pretty good odds. Here's the next one. Not much to listen to except the tone, right? To me that sounds, you know, nice and small. Don't sound like a real big target, like a can or anything. If you listen to the pinpoint. It seems small enough. In a, small enough to be a coin anyway, not like a can. Should be able to hit this. So tough, it's hard to get it out. See, that's a rock there. You pull it out. Yeah, see, that was a rock. All right, my first pull tab, but that ain't bad. I got what, four coins and one pull tab. Here's the next target, same way it seems smaller. If I pinpoint it. Seems small, we'll dig it out. Here we go. Shallow it. Ah, that might be a rock I hit. I hit something, but that feels like a rock. I mean, eh. yeah, see, that was a rock. Still a, another target down there. Sometimes I stick my finger down there. Hopefully, there ain't no glass, but. And then feel around like right now I feel a coin. I can feel it down there. I, you know, I feel the roundness and stuff, so there you go. Another coin. Here's the next one. Once again sounds smaller. Do the pinpoint. I'm going to take a guess on this one. It, it, it seems just a little bit bigger. It could be wrong. We'll find out. Seems like it's just a bit bigger target. Could be totally wrong on this one. And the camera wants to fall over. Alright. I'm going to put my knee against it. Alright. Try to detune it. Now I'm going to cut just a tiny plug. I just... Oh wait, wait that... oh, that's weird. That coin stuck to my digger as I brought it out. It's a bad thing about having a digger and the coins in the same pouch. They stick to it. Alright, I 
was wrong on that one. Ain't any bigger than the rest of the stuff. It's a bent in half pull tab. Not unless there's something else down there. Don't look like it. Here's the next one. It does sound small like coin range. Pull tab, no biggie. Here's one sound smaller right on the surface, sounds like. This sounds shallow. Surely that was an yeah. Advil. I knew it felt like foil when I was hitting it. Oh, in the real, all right. There you go, Advil. Let me check, the, check it just in case. That was it. Small Advil packet. Here's the next one. Inches. Got a small plug. Something has got screws on it. It's a tiny little thing. Here's the next one. The square tab. Here's the next one. It's a newer area, I think, and there's a lot of shallow stuff out here. I just hit it right there. Yeah. Yep. Square tab. Keep hearing jets fly over. There goes three warthogs right there. Let's so zoom in. 
can see them or not. Three up. Probably gonna be a zinc penny, I would think. Thought I seen the crusty. get it in the sun here. Maybe not, but you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but right in there, you see that crusty stuff where it was laying. Here's one, I think it's two targets real close together. Hear that double beep when I pinpoint. Try to dig them both out. Here's the first one, one to the right. Uh oh. Now it's sounding more like one big target. We'll see what we got. Maybe hitting on both ends of it. Big piece of can slaw. There's something else over here. Uh, there's something down there. I'm sure it's the rest of the can. That there's a rock, I believe. Let's see what else we got. That's a little button. Pretty sure it is. It was down there with a can slaw. Next one. Seems small enough. Almost surface deal. I hit it right there. Pop it out. That's how the hole looks like. There you go. 
another zinc penny. Yeah, it is, you know, pretty good that I have no VDI or anything to go buy, and I found quite a few coins out there. I'm gonna make this my last dig. penny this is gonna be a bonus dig so I'll be back to the car and just dragging my coil and I hit this Very deep, I don't think. A bit deeper, I Cab, it looks like. Oh no, it's a, a blue square tab. Alright, another bonus dig. I ain't made it back to the car yet. Still getting hits. Still getting hit. Maybe it's the rest of the can. What are the odds I pull out a piece of can slaw? The odds are it's going to be the rest of the can, or part of the can. Call. All right, let's do a pouch dump. Let's see what our coins to trash ratio was with no uh, no discrimination, not much anyway, and no ID to tell us what the targets were. So here we go. Whoops, something just blew off. Same thing. trash, nine, the Advil, so, about a 50-50 ratio probably, 
fifty percent coins, fifty percent trash, but that ain't bad. I mean, this place ain't real trashy. Some of the other parks I go to, it'd probably be like a 95 or more, like 98% trash and 2% good stuff. So not too bad. Like I said, for pretty much digging everything above, below nickel and not having an ID to go by, too bad at all.